Hey guys, here's another um, no gi five minute round um, training analysis. So just taking a look at the video. And I'm against Surge here. Surge is an absolute beast, really super strong. And there we go, I managed to get a big um, takedown on him there. We'll just run that one back really quick. Uh, we're in standing position, of course, a bit of grappling. He's got a nice little collar tie on me. I managed to get an underhook and an overhook and slap on my gable grip there as Serge goes for a single leg. So he's gonna get the single leg, but because I am over his back um, and keeping my right ear pressed to his, um, pressed between his uh, shoulder blades on his back there, um, when I sit down and I'm gonna kick that leg and roll, Serge does not have his right arm, you can see it's, that's his right hand down here, it's trapped under my body. And he's got nothing there to stop me from taking him over, come on top. Um, I left a hook in there and that's gonna help me here because I roll straight back and take the back. And you can see a pretty interesting grip right there. I've actually got a, um, I had a rear naked choke grip. I'll back it up a little bit. Yeah, I have my own bicep, like a rear naked choke right there. It's pretty funny. Um, I had that super deep under his armpit out the side there. And um, he was obviously had a lot of energy. We just started about, but I was already on his back. And now I'm just feeding my right hand through to go into the seatbelt position with my right hand on top of my left hand, my bottom hand on top of my top hand. And I'm gonna prise his wrists away from my choking hand and it'll come through. There it goes, hook on the shoulder. And now it's just a matter of getting it deeper. I try to put the rear naked choke on there and it's not quite deep enough. It's pulling my wrist down, so I put it on my head. Um, and then I've just gone back and pulled it through again to grab my wrist and pulled it up higher and tighter and got the tap. So that was a one minute bout right there out of the five minute rounds, we're gonna keep going. But basically that whole one minute surge is very good, uh, very strong and it all came down to this mistake right here where he shot in for this single leg here, wherever it is, and let me get that grip where I had the underhook. So he shot a single leg by dropping his right shoulder. You probably see it a little bit better, just a fraction earlier. I had an underhook. He still reached that single leg on the outside and I came over the top and that's the, it was the defining moment of the whole, of the whole fight, of the whole match. So that, as you see the next match, he goes much better, um, but the whole match can come down to that one moment, that one mistake that he made there, and I capitalized it and didn't let go um, all the way through. I just held onto it, took it over, kept it, kept the same grip all the way through, all the way under his back, um, until I finished with the, the choke and the tap, so. It's really good to analyze video like this and go back over and work out exactly where you made a mistake. And it wasn't that I did anything particularly good there. I just, um, I just got lucky and Serge made a, made a crucial little error there. So now I'll keep going. Um, that's one minute into the five minute rounds. We've got about four minutes left to go. Um, you'll notice here that I'm wearing a, a little bit of a compression bandage um, because I actually woke up this morning with um, bursitis in my elbow it's the first time i've had it and somewhere in training on this day here which is yesterday um somewhere in training i picked it up so it's a bit annoying i'm on some anti-inflammatories right now so this second match i'm just cruising um i'm conserving energy here and again i know surge is very athletic likes a good pace um, i was doing a lot of bit of framing um, then just keep Surge away from me and I'll just back up on that a little bit, this position. So again, I've got a bit of a quarter guard, I've got my um, ankles crossed and Surge's ankle trapped in there. Bit of a knee shield up here and then as he gets in closer, I was using my two hands up like this to just, just, just frame and prevent him from passing my legs or if he did, I'd be able to create space and get my guard back anyway. And now, um, Surge has stood and um, I've squared up a bit more. I'm holding his right ankle with my left hand and I've got my hand on his wrist on the other side. And 
sure enough, you can see the country mile away. I left that wide open for him to sit back into an ankle lock position there. Okay, now fortunately, I've got a pretty good escape there. Uh, I used my left hand to push his foot that was resting on my hip flat to the floor, and I hip escape around the side. So it wasn't too much of a threat there. Um, but you always got to watch out for that. So I'm a bit more cautious about it right now. And what do we got? So again, just framing. I'm trying to keep some space, not let Serge get chest to chest, not let him get too close. Um, I I'm trying not to reach out too much, create too many openings. I don't want him to get underhooks on me. Um, and somehow I've managed to weave a little bit of a... Um, I think I've got a, a little bit of a single arm guillotine there, not much, it's not very deep. I have my hand around his, I think I have my hand on his chin, um, but he was prizing my fingers off and wouldn't let me get my, um, wouldn't let me join my hands in the middle. He's using his other hand to prevent me from really getting there. I see him working hard to just prize the fingers off there. Um, and he's quite, he's uh, was fairly high up on me as well, so trying to get my fingers through but he popped out in the end. Now you notice with my half guard um, I'm always keeping a good hook. One foot's really hooked. There he goes, so he's jumping up. He was obviously paying attention. I did that uh, that floating shin to shin um, pass. That was a good attempt by Serge. He had light hips. He got up high on top of him and was floating and I was in danger of him switching his hips. If he had have actually switched his hips a bit, I'll back up. So here, and he's gonna go for it now, here. Okay, if this foot, his left foot out of hooked over my foot here, and come on that side of the foot, on the right side of my foot, on my shin, he would have had the Gordon Ryan floating shin to shin position, and with his right foot and right knee pushing this foot uh, leg flat to the floor, and his arms uh, posturing out, Basing nicely, nicely on the floor there. Um, if, if he had hooked that there, he could have stabilized on that position there. And he could have gone into any one of a series of passes simply by rotating his hips um, 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. And he would have got that um, some sort of a smash pass, knee through, knee cut. Um, any of those positions just from, um, and just keeping his hands posted on the floor above my head here, above my head here but he didn't stabilize and rebase up here. Basically, your base is normally down here on the floor. Your, your foot and shin will be down here on the floor. You've got to transplant plant that to your base being up here on my shin, up in the sky. So you're resting your body weight on that up there and on your hands, your tripoding. Um, and he just misses it. So you can see, oh, now he gets it there. He Now, there's an error. He came down off his hands and rolled forward. Okay, he should if he if he had well that's interesting. If he had stayed if he had stayed posted on both hands instead of falling down like that, he could have got that pass. But instead, he's uh, I pushed him back into guard. That was really interesting. And now I'm just getting back to my little sort of quarter guard and knee shield he's sort of position there. I'm working on a Russian tie grip right there. I've got two hands on one, trying to get a Russian tie slash arm drag. Um, and that was what I was looking for, didn't find it there. You'll see it here. I'll go for um, two hands on Serge's one hand. So he's finally getting up off his knees to start to pass. It's a much more dangerous thing. And there I get the, the arm drag slash Russian tie. I'll just reverse it up a little bit. So his hand rests on my knee, and you can actually see, there's his hand on my knee. I grabbed the outside of his elbow up there, um, or back of his, as his tricep, and my other hand will come up and grab his wrist there. And now I'm going to pull with my left hand and push with my right hand to actually try and invert his arm inwards and, and snap it down at the same time. Let's give him a little bit of a knee bump and he, yeah, he falls forward 
And there you go. And notice something here. Notice that as he comes down and I take it over, I'm still holding the same wrist with my hand. I haven't let that go till now. So I held that all the way through from dragging the arm, getting the sweep, and uh, all the way over back into his guard. And we're just recentering a little bit here, just to get nice and in the middle of the picture. Now look, I get on my feet a bit more active. A bit more dangerous for Serge when I'm on my feet there. I'm trying to do that same floating thing. I missed it, but I've gone for a, um, a little bit of a jumping, long stepping kind of thing. Moving into a little bit of a leg drag sort of position. Then push my head down, change the other side, but I change back again. So it took me three, three direction changes to get that pass. And then we ran out of time. So that was that. That was that was an interesting little um, series of maneuvers to get that pass. There was one, and he regards to the other side, pushes me away. Did well. Um, the actual question that um, we started the start of this class with, Serge asked, was, "What do you do if you give up your back from side control?" And I said, "Never give up your back from side control. Never roll away from your opponent. Always roll back in." And he saw that doing that then, so he did it three times, and it took three times for me to get that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other, um, my other fight narration videos and my other BJJ techniques. Thanks for watching.